hey, it looks like we're, we are doing this on the 3DS now. Even though it's still on the Game Boy Advance. I'm one crazy fox one. Awkward silence. I, uh, I was, I was really... Cat. I, I mean, I could, I could do some improv. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my retail <laughs> gal. Press start right now. Or see the cutscene above Streamrider. By the way, um, do you want the Streamriders without the background? I can probably see if I still have uh, the way I did it. And I, I mean, like the uh, uh, XCF file, so I can just edit that out. Any, any version of the thing that you can give us would be appreciated. But do you want the uh, colors in the background? I'm honestly not sure. Hmm. We'll see. Oh, look at Z4. Yeah, so, um... This game... Was it released for the Game Boy Color? Or for the Game Boy Wait. Bad? I was yeah, it was, um, it was originally for the Game Boy Advance, but then later they uh, put all four games into a collection for the DS. Okay. I have to um, say, if this was for the Game Boy or Game Boy Color, I'd be rather impressed. <laughs> yeah. Especially the Game Boy. The reason I said that is because I was thinking of the uh, the uh, spinning icon, and uh, Zelda, Oracle of Ages and Seasons, has a spinning icon, and they were on the Game Boy Color. It just dawned on me that I probably shouldn't have my screen share up while we're doing this. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at it. That's why I said I should probably not have it up there while I'm doing this. So when do you think they're going to see this? December? It depends Maybe. on whenever Z3 is finished. Yeah, I'm and I'm still uploading all of uh, Z2. I still have to edit uh, the first... You know what, I, I'll probably edit uh, the first one tomorrow morning. Um, I have a question. It's 11 minute. It's 11 episodes. I should be able to get it done. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to cut out the background noise because that way I can get stuff done faster. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to make the background sorry before you ask your question. I'm going to take the background noise out, but I'm not going to go through the time in the video in the editing process. Anyways. Honestly, we should just record it with as little background noise as possible speaking of which turning off the fan. <coughs> But as I was about to say, shouldn't we, you know, um, acknowledge the fact that there's, you know, like a plot dump on the screen? Just saying. And what? When we play uh, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and they talk about the Seven Year War, we're probably going to be talking in the background, too. Just saying. I mean, we completely ignored it, and it's over. <laughs> Basically, what happened is, a long time ago, there was this murderer, and what he did was he uh, murdered these little creatures that they brainwashed. And there you have the elf boy. Today you play as him. And today he lost all the powers that he used in the past three games. So this is, uh, what the fuck is that? So this is being recorded by Omega, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I think at this point you wouldn't know if I recorded it or not based on what you see in the screen. Yeah, if it's a 3DS game, unless one of us actually got a, a 3DS capture card, chances are we can record it. Yeah. Like, the thing is, they're not even for sale at this point in time unless you're willing to get a Japanese exclusive installation. Yeah, I, I was going to look at them, but yeah, I didn't see that. It's just it it's so damn expensive. I mean, let me, let me tell you guys, you can get a cheap-ass capture card for like 50 to 75 bucks at, at, uh, at uh, Best Buy. But to get a 3DS capture card, because Nintendo doesn't release any official ones, or because no one has made uh, an official one to be released in stores, they go for the low, low ball price of 300 to $400. Um, that's from Katsugiri's side. Uh, um, from the 3DS capture place where I got it from, it was actually 245. I'm actually, and that's more money than the Wii U. Wow. You can buy a Wii U and like a game or two, and still, you and, and still you would probably get about the same amount of money as a capture card for the 3DS. It is ridiculous how much they price it. Yeah. 
Well, considering there's only like one place that sells it, you can't blame them for pricing. That's monopoly. That's monopoly. Seriously, there needs to be some competition for it. Although, why? There needs to be like the the Aver Media or the or the Hog version of the 3DS capture card. Then those fuckers would not sell them for two hundred dollars. That's absurd. Well, That's absurd. Loopy, Loopy, the guy, the guy in the U.S., um, sells it for about that much, but Cats are getting more expensive. Now, today, at, today at Game Night, you could probably get a GameCube for like fifty bucks. You could get the Legend of Zelda for fifty. Okay, maybe I remember getting it for like fifty or sixty bucks. You could get that. You could get like the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, the fucking. Actually, Ocarina of Time, like, uh, with, with, uh, the first two Zelda games and Majora's Mask, and you could probably still have enough money before you get to, uh, the 3DS capture card's price. Anyways, uh, this game's going on in the background. I thought we should mention that. Yeah, and the Z-Nipple is the, is my favorite sub-weapon in, in Z4. Yes. Yeah. I kind of saw when it was going up at an angle that it had some, uh, it had some, like, weird texture thing. Now, because of that, I want to ask, is there any 3D in this game? Uh, no, it wasn't made for that. So it's not like the Kid Icarus, uh... Oh wait, this came out on the original DS. Yeah. There's the reason I have that little blue thing on the right. Instead of nothingness, uh... He gives, uh, uh, Omega decided to give you guys some tips if you guys are playing long. Whether you're on the Game Boy Advance or you're on the DS. Yeah, honestly, you only need to destroy one of the wires because at that point, the blue, the blue laser is too small to hit you and you can just stand under it. Just rip one wire off and he'll waste his time shooting off the blue lasers. I'm probably going to learn a lot of stuff from this. Yeah. Safety. Was it this game or was it the fifth game that you said you worked all a shit ton of time on? Uh, it was this game. There is no fifth okay. game. It was this game. Um, especially, uh, when, when we show off the extra video, um, Omega did a lot of work. He, he was constantly messaging us, you know, should I do this, should I do that? And we kind of helped him, quote unquote, help. Um, <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> do what you want! <laughs> should I play on normal or hard? Play on whatever most people play on. <laughs> Which means either the most difficult or normal. Most people play on normal. It's like Toho. You either play on normal or you play on lunatic. There's no easy or hard. That's just a myth. And this game goes easy, hard, normal, and ultimate. Which means and anyone will always play on ultimate or normal. No one's ever going to play on hard or easy. Well, technically there's five I did once just to try it out. The fifth one is exclusive to uh, the DS game that I'm playing now. Oh, great. She's here. Yeah, Sorry. Sorry, this is my robotic, uh, wife. Oh wait, she's human? Oh. Could've fooled me. Well, she's human too, because you can see her ears. Wait, is that really the way to tell? Well, all that and she tells you flat out. Ah. Uh. Although, orange hair and blue eyes isn't exactly a common combination. And, a, and according to Hitler, CL would be the perfect Aryan. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to be right back. This is a great recording session. Yes, oh. it is. Where are you again? Leave us. Well, it's not like there's anything exciting going on for the next five minutes. Yo. I mean, like, if he's going to have to leave for some reason, now is probably the best time to do it. Yeah. To be honest, uh, I think I, I did see uh, some footage of the of uh, uh, later in the in your playthrough, and I have to say you're you're much better at this than I am. I did put a lot of effort into this, so that t plays a factor too. Yeah. First episode in, I had to go away to check the laundry. Is doing something weird. This is a great episode. Yeah, um, like I said, this is probably the best time for you to do it because right now nothing interesting is going on. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to go away, guys, but if I end up doing it. Yeah, try not to do that on us on the later parts because that would be bad. 
I can't help it. Sure you can, just let your clothes shrink a little drier or something. Also, uh, if you hear anything in the background, I'm at home. Um, so we're gonna try and get rid of that in editing. But yeah. All I heard was a little um, voice in the background. That's what I meant. My, for those of you who don't know, and I don't think I've ever explained this on my channel, and I know I haven't explained it on this channel, uh, my room, um, it, you go inside of a hallway, and then there's a room on the left and then on the right. It kind of goes at a diamond shape. At the top of the diamond, that's where the two doors are. My room's on the on the uh, right. My little ten-year-old sister's room is on the left. So whenever she opens the door and says, What? Then everyone who I'm recording to or anything hears that. No awkward sounds. There goes that redhead later to become a, uh, a blonde. Like, three other fucking game protagonists. How did she get into the truck so fast? Oh. It, as soon as she went off screen, they started moving. I oh, I, I like how that little truck is all destroyed from, like, when it got burnt in the level. <laughs> have you guys noticed that, uh, um, characters that have any other hair color, especially females, later become blonde? Have you guys just not, noticed that? Not really. No, but did you notice that I made a Hitler joke how he says blonde hair and blue eyes is a good thing? No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> Toho, Marissa Kirasami, um, Mario, Princess Peach, Resident Evil, uh, Jill Valentine. <laughs> okay, that one actually supports your theory, the other one's dumb. Wait, what do you mean the other- What do you mean the other ones don't? Well, in this case, or, I mean, in Jill's case, she wasn't originally blonde, so... Neither was Marissa, nor was Peach. I don't think the main... The fucking artwork had Peach with, like, brunette hair. And then in the actual game, because of the NES, uh, she had yellow hair. This is a case of ignoring everything prior to the, um, to, to the Windows series. Oh, there we go. I'm just this, doing this my own little thing. This is ignoring everything to the previous to the Windows series. This is ignoring every game after the first game she appeared in. Mercy Kirazami was only red-haired for the first game she appeared in, Toho 2 Story Vista in Wonderland. From that point on, Zune or Zun, whatever the fuck, uh, made her into a blonde uh, hair. Okay, just don't overdo it. Alright, alright. We're still in the lab right now, right? Yes. You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of sad now. Why? Why? There's no elf killing in this game. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> and stop the blood rage. <laughs> well, Crazy Fox looks like he wins. The elves finally got the prediction through. It only took 50 deaths. It only took three games. Imagine completionists everywhere, just Zero. hacking and slashing. Zero grew in consciousness, I guess. Zero doesn't have a fucking. Zero already, ha already had a conscious. Conscious? He didn't have emotion. Did he have emotions? He's conscious. Well, technic. Well, a little fun fact X and Zero technically aren't reploids. But everything I know hey, what, what? tells me that they're reploids. I am emotional support. Yeah, the, th the thing is, but the definition Wait, of a reploid. In the truck. Yeah, the definition of a reploid are pretty much anything made by Dr. Kane based off of X's design. I thought they just meant robots. I'm, I'm just saying, like technically, the twin or the term reploid was coined by Dr. Kane. He started making them by studying X's design, so everything made after X was a reploid. X and Zero were both made before that, so they're technically not Reploids. Oh, I get it. The name Reploid means replication. Oh, I never thought of that. Or, like, Reploid, I get it. I mean, well, like... Mega Man, you make me hate you, and then now you're making me love you. How oh, it's a hate, love-hate relationship now. Yeah, like, they're similar enough that you can pass them off as Reploids, but te under technical um, specifications, they're not. 
Well, well uh, actually, wait, I take that back. Hero is now a Ripley because he doesn't have his original body. Yes, I was gonna bring up. Technically speaking, uh... Great, my dog. Technically speaking, Zero's a Reploid now. Actually, wait, no, he's always been a Reploid since the first game. He was, well, yeah, but, but like, his original body isn't a Reploid, though. Yeah, well, Omega wasn't a Reploid. Is this something I, that's interesting if you take the time to think about it? Yeah. And uh, here's the end of part one. I really took my time on this one, didn't I? What, how many parts do we have? Um, a to we have like a total of ten, I think. Oh gosh, damn. We we'll be able to get through at least some of them. Some of them. Uh, that, that's but... really all I'm hoping for. Oh.